hello everyone so today i am going to work on the inventory uh, for the game that we are working on so here i am referencing assassin's creed valhalla for the system that i want to implement so basically uh, when i open the inventory mod character should be in the middle and all the options should appear around the character so the way i am plan the step that i am implementing today is just the part where I teleport the character to a different stage when I press I so here you can see character goes into a totally different stage like place that I have set up in a corner of the map maybe not visible that is not visible for the player in the in the gameplay and then if I press I again we are back in the level like this so the reason that i want to implement like that is so here we can have different particle effects or anything in this level like maybe a mist and a different lighting and also we can have like do anything like rotate the character and focus into areas as we do in modifications so things like that so that's why i want to set up the inventory as a separate room or a stage so yeah this is the only part that we are going to work on today this would be the first step of implementing an inventory system similar to games like assassin's creed valhalla or assassin's creed odyssey they basically have the same system so before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project the full project and all other thousands of projects that I have done from the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can download anything without a limit. So feel free to check that out. And also, this is a part of Action RPG with Gameplay Ability System series I'm doing. So you can watch all these episodes as well. I'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description. And let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start a new blueprint. Let's create a new folder. What should I call it? Let's say inventory. And then uh, let's create a new actor blueprint. PP inventory. Right now, uh, let me open this here. Uh, for reference, for reference, let me add a skeletal mesh. This is how it's going to be. And here, I'll set a mannequin as a reference. Okay. Uh, now let's add a uh, cube not under mannequin separately and i'll change the material to i think something like cinematic yeah so here this is going to be like the flow and then a wall okay place it like this maybe we might need to make them bigger but for now this is fine and my and I'll add a camera
place it here like this okay now let me put this so this is going to be the stage that the character we will be doing inventory modifications to the character so it will look like this so maybe we can adjust all the camera positions and everything later on maybe and i'll put this somewhere far so like 5000 above and so we don't really need to keep this visible at all oh wait i had selected the wall so right somewhere far like this okay so as i said we don't really need to keep this visible at all but let's look into those things later on maybe we can adjust the camera a little bit uh, we will be changing the camera dynamically based on the component that we will be modifying anyway okay now here in the inventory i'll add a custom event open event um enter inventory mode so here i'll get player character so for now i'm not worried about multiplayer it's uh, first i need to make this work on single player and promote a variable i'll call this player and then disable the input because in the inventory mode we don't need players input and here player controller and also i'll get actor transform because later on i will need this when i put the character back in the original place right now what i want to do is move the character into this place and then change the camera to the camera that we have so here uh now i don't need this so let me delete that and add a new scene component let's call it a root no player so cut okay and get it where well, not so cut I'm not going to attach this player position get at uh, get word location let's access the transform so then I can set players location and rotation with this transform so get player again set at location and rotation let's 
split this location rotation and the final step change in the camera so get player controller set view target with blend and as the new view target argue self which is this sector right now just for testing let's set the delay of two seconds and call enter inventory mode now we start here in two seconds we are here in the inventory mode and the input is not working so that's as expected okay now right back now i'll add another event a custom event exit inventory mode so first to do this we need to have a valid player and then uh, set that location and rotation now we have already saved player transform the original transform we had so we can use it to put back the character in the original location and also we need to enable input get player control and what else oh. set view target with blend new view target is player right now to test this if this is working let's have a delay of four seconds and call exit in a remote right let's see okay see ya four seconds right we are back in the level all right now the next thing is i'll add a key binding for that input Input action I a inventory it's a digital wool yeah and let's go to IMC default the map is let's set inventory that's the key i okay and uh, now we can do this let me break this in the begin play we can we can enable the input on this sector like this player controller and then we can we don't need this let's open ia inventory so here on started 
we can call uh, enter inventory mode but uh, let's have a variable to control the state inventory open. so here I'll set inventory open to true and here inventory open to false now we can have a branch using inventory open if this is false we can open and if this is true we can call exit in entry mode compile all right now let's see so if i press i now you see character is there and the orientation is wrong i will fix that but if i press i again the character is back all right now to fix the orientation all we have to do is this is facing uh, as the player position this way i'll rotate it 90 degrees okay press i here we have the character and press i again we are back I in the inventory mode I again we are back okay all right so that's the first step and there are so many things that we need to think of when we implement in the inventory including what happens to other actors in the world other characters we need to post them and also we need to add a UI and also how do we connect that UI with the actual character and change the inventory to change the gear so we will look into all those topics in upcoming episodes so for now i'm gonna stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye